So when you're, when you're saying that China has 10 years to go. What, At most. What do you mean by that? Well, we now know that they've lied about their population statistics and they're they overcounted their population by over 100 million people, all of whom would have been born since the one-child policy was adopted. So this is one of those places where they've got more people in their 60s and their 50s and their 40s and their 30s and their 20s. Now, what was the logic behind the one-child? Was it that they were overpopulating? Mao was concerned that as the country was modernizing, the birth rate wasn't dropping fast enough and that the young generation was literally going to eat the country alive. And the problem with that also was that they wanted male children. Yeah, there's a cultural aspect to that, too. And obviously, men can't have kids on their own. China is in trouble. Now, many of you out there are going to be saying, well, what's that got to do with me? I got my own problem. I got to deal with the high cost of living, high gasoline prices. I got to put food on the table and my dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. And you have a valid point. I understand that. I'm only sharing this because I find it fascinating, and I know that in this interconnected world that we live in, the world is uh, shrinking, and what affects a a large nation like China is going to have some sort of domino effect across the world. After all, we get a lot of stuff from China that we use in our everyday lives. Much of it is garbage. Decisions that a world leader can make 30 years ago like limiting families to one child can have uh, detrimental effects 30 years later. You know what I mean? The article reads, The Last Generation, The Young Chinese People Vowing Not to Have Children. The article goes on to quote a uh, random uh, Chinese woman that they interviewed, and she said, quote, It costs too much to give kids a decent life. The stuff they teach at school is propaganda. She swears she will not have children. The Chinese government announced the country has entered an era of negative population growth, a historic drop in the number of people for the first time since the Great Famine between 1958 and 1961. But unlike the famine, whose effects were temporary, scholars say this marks the start of a long period of population decline. And then there's a chart here that shows how. China's population has declined over the years and how India is likely to be the world's most populous country uh, this year, starting this year. Let's see, the article goes on to say, last year, a video went viral in China showing a young man who refused to be taken into a quarantine camp, being warned by police that his punishment would affect his family for three generations. Wow. The young man replied, We are the last generation. Thank you. The phrase became a popular online meme and then hashtag the last generation generated millions of comments before it was censored. One comment said, in this country, to love your child is to never let him be born in the first place. Another comment said, this resonated deeply in me. I bought a T-shirt with the quote, we are the last generation written on it. I cannot bring a child into this world to let him suffer. The article says Eunice, a 34-year-old English tutor, said, quote, I heard that some hospitals refused to treat children who couldn't produce negative test results. The pandemic brought on a strong feeling of uncertainty. Having children is not something I'm considering now. I remember reading articles uh, a while ago about how a pregnant woman during the height of the pandemic tried to get into a hospital because she was about to deliver and they wouldn't let her in the hospital. That's how strict these guys were. They locked down entire cities, entire apartment buildings that are 20, 30 stories tall and locked them all inside at the height of the pandemic. I don't know if you guys remember seeing that story. Okay, closing the article, it says, while the research does not expect the economic impact to be imminent, he believes the population drop is a wake-up call to reform the inadequate health care system and Hukou household registration system. And the Hukou registration system uh, is something that restricts people's movement, including by preventing rural children from joining their parents working away in the cities. I mean, they are really authoritarian, aren't they? And you probably think you have a bad here in the Western countries. 